we are starting with wall wash wall wash so this is the wall of the tank and we are washing with methanol to collect the sample to know how clean is the tank so basically there are three main impurities chloride and your dust or which is called ptt or permanganate so dust ptt ptt and uh, these things we are checking for uh, uh, impurities of the tank so let's see how we do a wall wash test we go into the tank and with all uh, enclosed space entry precautions and we collect the sample from the tank so we spray some methanol pure methanol on the bulkheads so we get first we get this in chemical tankers we lower all the things with this rope and we have this methanol pure methanol and this beaker to collect the sample so we spray pure methanol on the bulkhead and we collect in this sample bottle and this is our sample to be tested in the tank so we this is our we all uh, chemical tankers will have a chemical lab like this and you can see we have this uh, all this uh, chemical gloves and uh, chemical suits torch special all equipments which are required for this thing so we we have hydrocarbon chloride and ptt or dust test then you can see here we have three tubes these tubes are uh, standard solution standard concentrations of uh, methanol with uh, like 5 ppm of chloride 10 ppm of chloride and 15 ppm of chloride and then we will put in one more uh, test tube we will put the present sample with some chemicals and we will check comparing with them with which one is it matching to get how many chloride ppm is there in our sample and that means how much chloride is there in our tank so from the charter we will get some instructions that after cleaning your tank should have 15 ppm or chloride maximum or 10 ppm so for that we need to test and check that if uh, do this wall wash test that it is within the limits or not because once we go in the port surveyor will come to check it and it should not be uh, outside the limits so we have the test for presence of hydrocarbon chlorides and permanganate fade time test where for uh, the dust particles and all and uh, there is some acid wash color of aromatic hydrocarbons that generally we are not doing so let's see if we have different chemicals and methanols here so we have to make a dark room because this chloride ppm is changing with uh, uh, it's becoming milky and this milkiness as you saw previously we could not see but once you have a dark room with the black shield behind this then only you can see this milkiness of the uh, test tube so you can see that this is a different milkiness is there first one is 0 then 5 and then 10 ppm so it's, it's becoming more and more milky so in pure methanol we put silver nitrate as per the concentrations given in the instructions and you get more this silver nitrate is reacting and becoming uh, silver chloride and that is our indicating the white color chloride so this is our uh, chief officer who has brought the sample from the tank and these are the test tubes this is he is held, holding pure methanol in his hand and then uh, we need to we will start taking the sample and testing using the wall wash test so first thing we have to clean the test tube with pure methanol because it's very important maybe uh, test tube we already contain some impurity before then we will put the sample which we have taken from the tank in the test tube so 
So we clean the test tube with pure methanol and then we uh, take the sample of tank and then we have DI water, distilled water. So we'll see the requirements. So generally, same equal amount of distilled water we have to pull. If you have 50 ml of uh, methanol, then 50 ml of DI water, pure distilled water, which we will supplied on board. So that we have to use. And uh, then we have to put some uh, chemicals. Then next already, as I told you, we have already have a prepared uh, solution. So one test tube is pure methanol and one test tube is the sample from the tank. And pure methanol also 50 ml, met, uh, like 25 ml methanol and 25 ml di this thing. Distilled water, same for the other one, 25 ml sample and 25 ml di water. And then we put a drops of silver chloride as uh, as per the instructions of all wash test. And then we keep it for some time. And then we uh, make this room dark to check the whiteness, which can be seen in the whiteness and behind the black screen. So we make the room dark. You take a torch and you can see how much milkiness is there. And with experience and with the standard solutions which we saw, we can make out that the how much chloride ppm is there. So with like this, we check take the wall wash test to get the chloride uh, ppm in the tank. And you can see this is standard solution, how it is looking like. and the sample, how it is looking like. So you have to mark it. Sometimes you get confused which was the standard solution and which was the sample. So first we mark it, or they are generally pre-marked and kept. So as we, as we saw, we have these three tests. One is for the color, which is called the permagnet test or PTT test. Then we uh, for the suspended metals, and then we have hydrocarbon and we have the chloride test. So let's see for hydrocarbon, what we are doing same hydrocarbon together with water, they form a milky solution. So same chloride also forms a whitish or uh, milky solution and hydrocarbons also. So uh, for 50 ml of wall wash methanol, we add 50 ml of DI water. So equal amounts of methanol and equal amount of DI water, same ratio. The mixture has to be shaken and allowed to stand for 20 minutes. So initially there will be whiteness and slowly, slowly it will reduce. And uh, this is called Nestler's tube or test tube. Then we take uh, one was with sample and one will be a standard solution. So one will be with the sample from the tank and one will be uh, from pure methanol. And with a black sheet behind, switch off the lights and we will shine the beam on the one side of the tube, not from the exactly bottom as we were doing it. That will be a little bit from the side. And we will look into the tubes from top for any whiteness or turbidity. So if there is a cloudy appearance, then uh, that means the hydrocarbons are too high after 20 minutes or and tank needs to be washed with methanol again. So this is the remedy. We will discuss with some remedies in the next session. Then next we'll see the chloride test. What are the requirements? So we have a standard solutions as we saw 10 ppm standard chloride solution. So this is how we will make. We will take two ppm uh, solution. We take pure methanol 50 ml, and we have we take uh, 10 ppm standard chloride solution, or we have what you call silver chloride, and we have uh, distilled water 38 cc and 20% uh, nitric acid solution. So we will form silver nitrate with this and AGCL. Then 2% silver nitrate solution of 2cc. So these are the things we will add and make a one 2 ppm solution, standard solution, and then one uh, 0.5 ppm standard solution. And like this, if required, we can make 5 ppm or 10 ppm. So all these instructions will be given 
that uh, by mixing these chemicals we will you can make standard solution to find so this solution is whatever is coming the result how much whiteness that will indicate 2 ppm of chloride this will indicate 0.5 and then same uh, we will take everything same for uh, testing the sample only instead of pure methanol we will put the sample from the tank as we saw so the principle of the test is that chloride together with uh, silver nitrate solution gives a milky cloudy solution in a clean graduated tube of 30 ml of methanol and top up with 100 ml with certified distilled water and five drops of nitric acid and five drops of silver nitrate solution and mix the contents thoroughly before adding silver nitrate take the reading if there is a reaction between nitric acid and wall loss sample there is something else left on the coating which are not chlorides and the tank will be rejected main procedure is same so this is our ptt test and you can see here that we are putting kmno4 in a this is put kmno4 in purple solution in a same 50 ml of methanol and 50 ml of uh, di water or as required and the instructions and one is sample and 50 ml of di water 2 ml of kmno4 solution to each test tube one is standard and one is your sample and then we shake them like this gently and uh, by putting after putting the stopper and uh, then we wait for time for the color change and keep change, recording the time so we have fast motion of time and you can see the color has changed in the second test tube first one was the standard so due to fast motion the color has already started changing after 5 minutes 10 minutes as per the instructions whatever timing is there you can see the color change and record your how much impurities are there Okay so that's all about uh, fall wash test